Now let's consider a system A at equilibrium uh, which has a mean energy E bar so there is the mean energy E bar and mean external parameters x alpha bar where alpha is 1 2 all the way up to n so n external parameters so this is a mean energy and this is mean external parameter values that is valid at equilibrium now uh, if I have an interaction with system A prime so by virtue of an interaction with a system a prime what happens is this e bar the mean energy uh, can change to e bar plus d e bar and all of these external parameters can have their mean values changed by an amount dx alpha bar and i have the number of accessible states to system a is a function of E and X1, X2 all the way up to XM, the external parameter values. So if I consider the change, the resulting change in the natural logarithm of the number of accessible states to system A, once again this is del ln omega del E uh, DE. Uh, so this is going to be DE bar, that's the amount of change I'm having at this, uh, as a result of this interaction. And then I have sum alpha equals 1 to n, del ln omega, del x alpha, and dx alpha bar is the amount of change I'm having. And I'm just going to substitute uh, our uh, results from this. A reminder here del ln omega del e is beta by definition and del ln omega del x is minus beta the generalized force uh, mean generalized force x bar so this is going to give me uh, d ln omega is equal to uh, beta times d e bar and then I have here minus beta sum alpha equals 1 to n x alpha bar dx alpha bar uh, for each value of alpha i can i can write the same thing and this is going to be alpha equals 1 to n x alpha bar dx alpha bar is the work done on the system which is going to result in a change in the energy levels so it will shift it will cause a mean shift in the energy levels uh, dx alpha bar which is equal to d bar w the change in energy of the system if it's an adiabatic interaction it will also be the change in the mean energy of the system okay so this is going to give me d ln omega is equal to beta d e bar minus beta d bar w which is the work done on the system so we find that d ln omega is beta times d e bar minus the infinitesimal work done on the system d bar w which is according to the first law of thermodynamics beta times d bar q because we have a change in the mean energy of the system is due to the work done on the system infinitesimal or infinitesimal heat transfer and when I take this equation and multiply it by K I realize that on the left hand side I have the change in entropy and on the right hand side I have 1 over KT d bar Q times k so these k's cancel 
and I find that the change in the entropy in the quasi-static process, infinitesimal quasi-static process, is d bar q over t. So this is true in any infinitesimal quasi-static process. So we find that this is a very general result. The change in entropy is d bar q over t. So we have shown it previously for thermal interaction. Now we have shown it for general thermodynamic interaction. This is a fundamental thermodynamic relation. And we find that if the interaction is adiabatic, if d bar q is zero, you have no change in the entropy of the system. Now you can write uh, d bar q as t ds because of this uh, fundamental thermodynamic relation and that's also equal to d e bar minus uh, d bar w and if for d bar w we substitute work done on the gas is minus the mean pressure times the change in the volume we find that tds is d e bar uh, plus p bar db So that's another relation that is valid for all types of interactions. And if you want to calculate the change in entropy of the system going from state A to state B using an a quasi-static um, approach, it's going to be the integral of d bar q over t if the process is performed quasi-statically. And the value of integral a to b d bar q over t uh, will be the same so this is going to be the same value for any quasi-static process that takes us from initial state a to final state b uh, so that because entropy s is a state variable on the other hand if you consider uh, the same thing the total uh, amount of heat transferred from state a to state b by integrating d bar q uh, this is going to depend on the process uh, in going from A to B quasi-statically. So that's the main difference. Um, and the same thing applies to work. Uh, I can write the same thing for work. A to B is D bar W. These two depend on the process. And because Q and W are transfer variables in thermodynamics okay so we find another general result general relation uh, valid in equilibrium if we are performing an infinitesimal quasi-static process on a system a taking its mean energy from e bar to e bar e bar plus d e bar taking its external parameters x alpha bar to x alpha bar plus d x alpha bar the corresponding change in the number of accessible states uh, is going to be d ln omega is beta d e bar minus beta d bar w and d bar w is the work done due to the mean force mean generalized force conjugate to external parameter x alpha so x alpha bar dx alpha bar if i add all the contributions i get the total work done d bar w so by using the derivative of ln omega with respect to um, 
its uh, external parameter changes x alpha uh, we have beta de bar minus beta d bar w is dn and omega and this automatically gives us using the first law of thermodynamics the entropy change for any infinitesimal quasi-static process is d bar q over t it's the infinitesimal amount of heat transfer uh, divided by the absolute temperature so this you can think of this as the system is connected to a heat reservoir at absolute temperature t and uh, it's transferring some uh, heat d bar q at this temperature and um, if we are going from a state a to state b then you can think of the system uh, being connected to uh, sequentially connected to different heat reservoirs with slightly higher temperatures where we have uh, the infinitesimal heat transferred at each step. So if d bar q is zero for an adiabatic process, the entropy change is zero. And at the same time, d bar q equals TDS. Let's us write at TDS equals dE bar plus P bar dV. If this is for a gas where we have d bar W is minus P bar dV. And the, we find also a very fundamental uh, result. Since entropy is a state variable integral in going from state A to state B, d bar Q over T, will have the same value for any quasi-static process. But if you calculate total heat transferred or total work done on the system, integrals from A to B, d bar Q or d bar W, that depend on how the process is performed. Uh, so, because Q and W are transfer 